Hi everyone. Welcome to Zoom Technologies. I would like to give a small demonstration on Active Directory Trust Relationship. Active Directory, it is one of the major feature of your Windows Server 2012. Active Directory, it is a backbone to the course MCSC. Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert. I want to give a small brief introduction about this Active Directory Trust Relationship. Now, what do you mean by trust? What is the meaning of trust? Everyone knows what is a trust. Now, trust means it is like a faith, a belief. For example, maybe you are working on the road. A stranger came to you, he is asking your mobile phone. Now, is he, uh, are you interested in giving this mobile phone to a stranger? No. Because we don't know him, we don't know this person, he's a stranger, we don't trust him, we don't believe him. So we don't give this mobile phone to him. Maybe the same person, he is a known person, a brother, a sister, or some friend. At that time, we are interested because we know him. We trust him, we believe him. Now, this is where trust comes into the picture, right? Like when we share resources. Now, resources means, in our example, the mobile phone is a resource. Maybe I want to share some personal information with another person. At that time, I have to trust him. Now, this personal information, that is a resource. Now, this is where trust comes into the picture. When we share resources. Now, why we are talking about all these things? What is the relation between the trust and active directory? Where we even think about trust in active directory? For example, there are two different organizations. Maybe Zoom and IBM. Two different companies. Two different organizations, two different domains. Now in Zoom, I have a user. In IBM, I have a user. For example, in Zoom.com, I have a user like Z1. In IBM.com, I have a user like U1. And we do have computers in Zoom as well as in IBM. Now Zoom user, can he log into IBM computers? No. Vice versa, IBM users cannot log into Zoom computers. But first of all, why we want one company employee to log into another company computers? What is the reason? Maybe these two organizations, they are working together. their partners working on a project together. At that time, Zoom employee should work for IBM. IBM employee should work for Zoom. Now in this scenario, now these two companies, what they need is they need a trust. How to configure this trust? So that is what I'm going to show you practically. So trust relationship in Active Directory. Now, how do you define a trust? Now, trust means it is a secure communication path which is going to allow objects in one domain to be authenticated and accepted in other domains. Like users from one domain should be logged into another domain. At that time, we need trust between these two domains. There are so many different types of trust. I'll discuss. Some trusts are manually created. Some trusts are automatically created. That means there are some different types of trusts. I'll be showing you practically a trust called as forest to forest trust, which was introduced in 2003 Active Directory. As I said, there are some dif uh, different types of trust. The first type is called as 
default trust. Now we have a forest here. Now this is a forest. You can see there are so many multiple domains are there, child domains like this. Maybe I have a user here. He want to log into this domain. According to our discussion, if a user from one domain, if you want to log into another domain, we need trust. Then only he can log in. Right now, according to this diagram, user from mcitp.ms.com can log in to ccna.ms.com. Because within the forest, there is a trust called as default trust. We don't need to configure anything. Any user can log into any domain. Default trust, it is a trust between parent and child and between two root of the trees. Now this link is nothing but a trust. Now this is a child, this is a parent. This one is a child and this is the parent. That is a trust between parent and child. Now for example, U1 of MCITP want to log into CCNA, so he will contact the parent, ms.com. Now ms.com request comes to MCITP. After reaching MCITP, user can log in. He can log in, but the disadvantage is log on authentication will be slow. You need to contact all individual domains. In order to overcome this, what we can do, we can configure a trust called as shortcut trust. That is the second type, shortcut. Now you can see same example. Like we have user here like .net, uh, net.soft.com. This user want to log into MCITP, will configure a trust. Maybe MCITP user want to log into CCNA, will configure a trust. So what type of trust will configure shortcut? This is also within the forest, within the forest. Manually, we have to configure this. Now next we have external trust. External trust is a trust between two different forests. Like we have two different forests here. Forest 1, forest 2. I want MCITP user to log into it.ibm.com. So I can't configure shortcut here because shortcut is within the forest. Now, when you talk about two different forests, we'll, we'll go with this external trust. External trust was actually introduced in 2000. Like maybe you have 2000 domains and NT domains. At that time, we'll go with this external trust. External trust, it is a one-way non-transitive trust. Now, what is this one-way non-transitive trust? Now, same user of MCITP, he want to log in from sales. He cannot log in. I have to configure one more trust here. The same user of MCITP want to log into IBM. He cannot log in. Manually, I have to configure one more trust. That means for each and every domain, individually, we have to establish a trust, which is very complex thing. So Microsoft, what they have done, they introduced one more trust in 2003, which is called as forest trust and this external trust is one way it is a one way trust now fourth type of trust which is called as forest trust now forest trust is configured between two roots forest trust is a one or two-way transitive. That means once I configure a trust between ms.com and IBM, the two routes, 
any user from forest 1 can log into any domain present in forest 2 vice versa any user present in forest 2 can be authenticated in forest 1 so you don't need to manually configure a trust bin between other domains this type of trust is called as a forest trust now this is what i am going to show you practically how to configure forest trust so it was introduced in 2003 active directory a new feature of 2003 active directory now we have one more type the fifth one which is called as rearm trust a trust between windows servers and non windows servers you have windows and non windows servers at the time the trust will configure is a rearm trust now let me show you practically how to configure this forest to forest trust so i need two forests already i have two forests are there so let me show you so how to work on this two different types of trust this forest trust i have two forests now now this is a uh, zoom.com this is one domain zoom.com we can see zoom and i'm moving to another computer my system too so this one is ibm.com ibm.com now i'll create a user account in zoom Active Directory users and computers. I created a user called as Z1. He is Zoom user. Now I want to log in from IBM computer. So I went to this IBM computer. I want to log in. Switch user. I, I will try to log in as Z1. Control all delete. Let's log in as Z1 of Zoom. I don't have any password for this user, so I'll click enter. So I'll be getting a message so that there is a problem with the trust relationship. This IBM doesn't know anything about Zoom users. So we will configure a trust. In order to configure a trust, we'll use a new console that is called as Active Directory Domains on Trust. Let me show you how to configure this trust. Domain name, right click, properties, trust. New trust, next. Enter the domain name which we want to trust. Our next domain name is IBM.com. I want to establish a trust with IBM. Click next. I want to go with a forest trust. A two way. Both users should log in. So one way in the sense only one domain user should be able to log in. So I'll go with two way. Now if you have appropriate permissions in both domains. If I am the administrator of both domains. You can create both sides, sides of trust relationship. I can configure at the same time. If I select this domain only. I have to configure a trust in Zoom. The same steps has to be followed by IBM admin in his computer. At that time, I need to share a trust password. A password I need to share. I'll enter this password. I'll share this password to IBM administrator. He has to enter the same password while configuring in his computer. So right now, I'll go with the second method. Both this domain and specified domain. I will configure trust on both machines at the same time but when i select this option if i click next immediately it is going to ask me ibm administrator password generally zoom admin don't know ibm admin password but right now i know so i'll enter the credentials click next A forest to authentication and select to authentication. These are the two different types. A forest to add means users can log into any domain, any forest uh, in the forest. A select to means I can select to. 
like I can select a specific computer, a specific domain. So I'll go with forest white. So click next. Let's confirm the outgoing trust. Incoming trust to finish. Trust has been established. Now, do I need to configure in system to no? Because I selected the option both this domain. So what is the verification? Again, I'll try to log in from IBM computer Z1 at the rate of zoom.com. Zoom user is trying to log into IBM computer. Once I click enter, this time I should not get any error. Without any error, successfully he logged in. Now this is how you can establish a trust between two different companies, two different organizations, a forest to forest trust, which was introduced in 2003 Active Directory. I hope the session is very informative to you. So how to configure a, a trust relationship in Active Directory. So thank you very much for watching this. Thank you all.